In these depressed times, competition is getting fiercer, and all too often this seems to come down to price. But price pressure gets more intense the more that people perceive suppliers to be offering the same thing. So the flip side of this coin is that the more that businesses can offer something different or additional, the better equipped they are to resist downward price pressure. Now I appreciate that so far this may seem like a statement of the painfully obvious, but in my experience many businesses are missing opportunities to broaden their product or service offering because they've slipped into taking too narrow a view of how to compete. And there's a really useful tool that any business can use to counter this tendency. One way to use it is as a structure for an internal brainstorming session. It provides a framework to search for new customer benefits to provide. And this is it on the screen now. Down the left hand side are the main types of need that any customer potentially has. These are customer productivity, simplicity, convenience, risk avoidance, emotional factors such as enjoyment, fun, sense of achievement or image, and finally environmental friendliness. Now across the top are the various stages in the buying, using and disposal life cycle and these are purchase and selection, delivery and installation, usage, supplements and linked activities and finally maintenance and disposal. Now the resulting table's got 36 cells each one of which provides a potential way to compete. And the ironic reality is that many businesses focus their attention on just one, customer productivity during usage. And this is the one that I've marked with an X. Now this leaves 35 relatively overlooked combinations, each one potentially ripe for you to create competitive advantage that you can use to resist price pressure. Within each cell, you look for potential strengths that you have or could develop. Taking advantage of this potential may require some product development work, but it may be as simple as starting to publicise an element or an aspect of your product or service that exists anyway, but no one has paid much attention to.